Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor. And today I wanna do a deep dive on one of my favorite vitamins, vitamin C, and what I like to call an antioxidant powerhouse. To be fair, it's one of those vitamins that we usually take for our immune system. The truth of the matter is, is it's actually necessary for maintaining healthy bones, skin, and teeth. But as a sleep doctor, I love vitamin C because of what it can actually do for your sleep. So I want you to think of vitamin C as one of those vitamins that can really supercharge your sleep. So let's talk about how vitamin C works in the body and why this is pretty much the key ingredient to getting quality sleep. So your body needs vitamin C to keep several important bodily functions running smoothly. It's also called ascorbic acid. So the biggest thing that we know that it does is it helps form blood vessels, cartilage, muscles, and collagen and protect cells against what's called free radicals. Now, you've probably heard this term before, but you don't know what free radicals are. So free radicals are molecules with a negative charge that can damage organs, tissues, or cells. What vitamin C does is it kind of captures it and neutralizes it. And the body produces free radicals when it breaks down food or is exposed to toxins. So vitamin C basically eats these free radicals to keep the system in balance. Also, it helps your body absorb iron because a lot of people out there can get anemia Remember, anemia it can also lead to certain sleep disorders like restless leg syndrome, and we do see anemia a lot of times in women as well as in older women. So remember, vitamin C is vitally important. Because your body doesn't make or store vitamin C, it's important to include it in your diet. You can find it in anything citrus, a lot of green leafy things, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, spinach, cauliflower, green and red chilies, even some fruit. By the way, I have plenty more information about all the vitamins you need to get some of your highest quality sleep on my YouTube channel. So do me a favor, subscribe over there because we send out videos a couple times a week and you're gonna learn a ton more about your sleep. A big question is, well, all right, Michael, we need vitamin C, how much? Men, roughly 90 milligrams a day. Women, roughly 75 milligrams a day. If women are pregnant, the recommended daily allowance is 120 milligrams a day. And remember, it's pretty easy to get. Have an orange, a cup of strawberries, you know, maybe a red pepper or some broccoli. It's, it's not really that tough to get to in your diet. But if you don't feel like your diet is gonna be able to handle it, you really don't want more than about 2,000 milligrams per day. Remember, too much vitamin C can lead to things like diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, heartburn, stomach cramps, even headaches. Now that you kind of know everything you've ever wanted to know about vitamin C, let's talk about how does it influence your sleep. Vitamin C really helps you out with sleep quality, sleep duration, memory protection, and believe it or not, sleep apnea. First, let's look at the amounts and sleep quality. So low intake of vitamin C has been connected to shorter sleep amounts, and people who don't get enough vitamin C in their diets or through supplementation, they have a tendency to sleep less on the whole. Why? Well, number one, they're becoming sleep deprived, but number two, because lower levels of vitamin C are linked to more nightly sleep awakenings, which puts you at a greater risk for sleep disorders. Finally, remember, vitamin C plays a role in converting tryptophan, which is that substance that we kind of bring in through milk and cheese and things like that, to serotonin. And remember, serotonin with melatonin are kind of those keys that start the engine for sleep. Vitamin C helps the body also convert fat into energy. So taking vitamin C or foods with vitamin C shouldn't be taken at night because they're just gonna give you energy. So push your vitamin C intake into the morning time and you're gonna have a lot less overall sleep disruption. Now, people also wanna know, well, I, I heard it protects my memory. Well, remember, vitamin C protects the brain against memory losses associated with sleep deprivation and, in some cases, aging. Vitamin C also plays a role in forming new neurons in the brain, which, of course, affects memory. And then, additionally, vitamin C can help get rid of those free radicals, which I talked a little bit about earlier, which can affect brain function in older adults. Also remember, vitamin C is essential in the conversion of dopamine into your sleep hormones. So vitamin C has a dual purpose in sleep, right? So if you take it in the daytime, it makes you stay awake and its effects will linger into the night, allowing you to sleep better. But don't take it at night because it can have some alerting effects. Now, the last area that I thought would be interesting to kind of dive into was sleep apnea and vitamin C. And you're probably thinking, wait a second, sleep apnea, that's that snoring, breathing thing. How does vitamin C have anything to do with that? Vitamin C has been shown to improve the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea by improving blood vessel function, right? So vitamin C can actually help the outer part of the blood vessels get more oxygen, which then minimizes the effect of free radical damage. This was actually discovered in a 2006 study published in the American Journal of Critical Care Medicine. So 
As you know, my specialty is insomnia, and insomnia it turns out to be very interesting. So let me tell you about a patient that I had. She's in her early 30s, and she came to me with pretty rip-roaring insomnia. And when I was talking with her, she was also very dialed into her vitamins and very dialed into her diet. And so I started asking her a lot of questions like, tell me what you're taking and when. And it turned out she wasn't eating until almost noon. And then she had a feeding period of basically noon till 7.30. And so she was trying to cram everything into that time frame, which I don't necessarily have a problem with, but most of her vitamin C was towards the end. And so when we put the vitamin C towards the beginning and identified her chronotype and got her sleeping based on her chronotype with this vitamin C in the morning, guess what? everything improved. Now, it didn't happen overnight. It took about four to six weeks for it to work, but this is an easy, easy way by pushing your vitamin C to the beginning part of your day to be able to accomplish that goal and have some level of alertness and then not have it affect your sleep. So remember, another vitamin that's also great for sleep is vitamin D. And unless you live in sunny climates like I do, which is Southern California, this can be a lot harder to get than you might imagine but not impossible. So be sure to check out my video right here on some of my favorite ways to add vitamin D to your diet. So not only is vitamin C good for you, it's also in some of my favorite foods. So I find at least for me, it's easy enough to get my daily allowance almost every day. Do me a favor, make sure you're getting enough vitamin C each day to give yourself the best chance of getting quality sleep at night. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.